here. <clears throat> and we are right now in Sholo, Arizona. We are on our way to Big Lake. We're going to be spending a week up in Big Lake. Getting out of the Phoenix heat and enjoying some cool air and doing just whatever the heck we want. <laughs> and when my ship comes in, I know just what we'll do. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. We'll pack our bags and quit our jobs and have a holiday for two. It's beautiful today. The only thing I'm worried about is thunderstorms. There's like a 50 or 60 percent chance of thunderstorms, but I'm not worried about a little rain. No. We are in Sholo. The story says that Sholo was named after a turn of the cards, a card game. Years ago, somebody was playing a card game, and I don't know the whole story, but one of the things is they were looking for a name for the town, and they were playing a game of cards, and somebody said, well, why not? Uh, somebody made a comment about, well, just Sholo, and it stuck, Sholo.
everybody. I want to show you something. And I just checked the map, by the way. And the road that we came in on here is uh, Forest Road 68. One map actually calls it Conklin Ridge Road. So it gets confusing sometimes, these roads. But if you look at a forest map, it should be Forest Road 68. Oh my goodness. There are a lot of trees have fallen around here since we were here last. I think we were in this area about two years ago. This is kind of cool. This is, if you, you can actually see this on Google Maps. If you look at Big Lake and get on Google Maps and follow the forest, the road 68, just south of the lake, you'll see this uh, corral. Let me show you. This is an old corral. I don't know how long this thing has been here. But, uh, yep. Little corral there. This is what I'm talking about. This tree right here it must have fell in the last two years. We were up here in the motorhome about three years ago, and uh, you were able to drive through here. I want to buy me a small jigsaw for this just such occasions. Because, oh my goodness, look at all the firewood here. One nice thing about this area, this is Apache Sitgreaves National Forest, and now, because of all the rain, uh, you can have open fires. So, that's good. And because of that, see, this is kind of a bummer, because some friends of ours camped just right over there. And they were able to drive around and get out this way. Oh, man, there's another couple big trees over by us that have fallen over. I'll make my way through here. Kind of cool. Now, anybody knows the history of this area? And if you know the history better than I do, go ahead and put in the... Uh, um, comments if anybody knows how long this corral has been here I'm gonna guess at least 50 or 60 years I think this is the limit of how far you can come out and uh, disperse camp though I see a sign right here no motor vehicles so no camping behind the sign yep Last I checked, it was 68 degrees right now. And so that's that road right there takes you up to Railroad Cove, I think is what it's called. If you follow it around, then there's just a mile around there. There's a boat, there's another boat uh, launch area. And uh, years ago, according to some of the signs, when you come in there, there was a fire back in 2011, and it burned up into just over this ridge, over this hill right here. In fact, if, I, if when I took the drone up, you can probably see it in the drone footage. There's an area just above on this hill where it burned, and they were able to stop the fire up until this point. Um, so when you're camping here, you can't see that there was a fire over there because the trees kind of block it, the tree line. But it got pretty close to the lake. 2011. This is a really neat area. It's a beautiful camp spot here though. Lots of little areas to tuck in back in here. Fairly level. Just gotta watch for the trees. This won't be here long. Somebody will come out here with a a saw and I'll make short work of this. And this is a what is this? I don't even, I don't even know what day it is. Oh Wednesday. It's Wednesday. 
That's what happens. You get out here and you lose track of time. No cell service. And that sometimes can be a good thing. And no internet service, which can be a good thing. So if you come out here expecting to get a cell signal, eh, forget it. We even tried, a, BJ has a, a booster on his motorhome, but we couldn't get that to work. This is, uh, this is where we camped three years ago, in this spot right here. And actually, this is a nice spot right here. These folks have a nice little spot. And right now, this is perfect because it's not hot out here. And you need as much solar as you can get. So, you can get back in the trees over there. And uh, I think it's a little cool. I was actually cold a little bit ago. I w took a nap and I woke up about 1.30 and it was 55 degrees on the thermometer. And I was freezing. So what do we do? I made some coffee. Yeah. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Made some hot coffee. And it was really good. Add a little Kahlua to it. It really warmed me up. We're really by ourselves back here. We've been in this spot before. I think it was about four years ago we were in this spot. And surprisingly, it doesn't really get that messy out here. These rocks kind of keep it from getting really muddy. Well, we haven't had a downpour of rain. I think we're pretty much through. All the rain seems to be coming from that way. I think we're good for the day. It is 420. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there's a little, I'll show you. I'm gonna put another video in just a second and show you the little woodshed back here. I gotta show everybody this. I gotta show. I gotta show you guys this. Somebody that was here before us, camping here, spent a little time and made a woodshed. <laughs> I thought this was pretty clever. A little place they they even put a, made a little roof out of the pine needles. And I didn't do any of this, so somebody else did this before we even came here made a little shed. That's pretty clever. Okay, this road out there is the Conklin Ridge Road, I think is what it's called. And I don't know the number. I want to say 63. Forest Road 63, but I could be wrong. Just off of Big Lake. Now, if you go on Google Maps and you look on Google Maps, there will be a spot on Google Maps. It'll say best camp spot ever. And then it'll say closed. Don't believe it. And actually the spot that's marked is down the road a little ways. It's not this spot. I think this is the best spot. I think this is the best spot. <laughs> ah, oh well. Another tree that has fallen since the last time we were here. This one, I think, fell on its own, too. That one over there got cut. Or maybe it fell over and got cut up. No, I, I think that other one got... Some of these look like they might have got hit by lightning. And struck by lightning. This one may have been the same. The black. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that came out on its own. I don't know, that to me looks like it might have got burned or hit by lightning. I 
And then somebody came out and cut it down here. Back to the pasta. here and I'm going to show you for those of you folks who've never been to Big Lake I'm going to show you the ways to get there uh, from coming from Phoenix you're going to want to take the 260 and that's the highway that comes from Payson through Sholo Pine Top and the last place to get gas is a little town called McNary there's a, a casino here called the Honda right out here on this this intersection of the 73 and not only that, but they have pretty reasonable gas. Last chance for gas before you go to Big Lake. Uh, last, uh, we just stopped there a few days ago, and the gas was 466, which for Arizona is a pretty good bargain right now. So that was not too bad. So once you get to the 260 and go from the Honda, go through McNary, and then you look for the exit. Uh, 273 which will say sunrise actually a big sign right there will say sunrise ski resort in Big Lake and you take that all the way down until you get to Big Lake just follow the highway <clears throat> now that being said when you get down to Big Lake you're gonna realize all of a sudden you lose cell service there are places in here along the 70, 273 where you will get real strong cell service and that's probably because Mount Baldy and Greer both have strong cell towers. But once you kind of get past that area and get down in here uh, by Crescent Lake, then you start to lose service. And there are just a few places around Big Lake where you get cell service. But when you get on the back side of Big Lake, you kind of lose that cell service. So just kind of be that, keep that in mind. Now, the area around Big Lake is called Big Lake Recreation Area. And you cannot disperse camp within a certain boundary of that area right there. There are some campgrounds. If you're interested in campgrounds, uh, go on to the uh, to the website and you can reserve Rainbow Campground, Apache Trout Campground, as well as some of the other campgrounds that are here. The best campground at Big Lake is Apache Trout. And I say that because they have electric hookups. There are a few campsites at Apache Trout 
that do have 30 amp hookups and water available. A Rainbow is a very nice campground, but there is no power that I know of at Rainbow Campground. There is a dump station right outside of Rainbow. There's also a dump station right outside of Apache Trout Campground. So you have two dump sites. You can also get water for your RV at Rainbow and Apache Trout. There's also a Big Lake Tackle and Supply Store that has a one pump gasoline and it also sells propane as well as fishing tackle, fish bait, uh, basic food supplies like milk, eggs, uh, butter, ketchup, mustard, things like that, uh, t-shirts, and a few other odds and ends. But they do have quite a good supply in case you forget something when you get to the lake. And ice, which is nice too. We camped uh, just outside the boundary of Big Lake Recreation Area, right here along Dispersed, uh, I'm sorry, along the Forest Road 68. Now, when I get on the map here, it's probably not going to have a number. And I'm not surprised. I think this is uh, typical for some of these maps. This is Forest Road 68. Um, I think this is 249. If I wrote to uh, Forest Road 249E, and this is the the road that takes you around the exterior part of the lake. Think of this road kind of like the boundary of Big Lake Recreation Area. Everything north of 249 is going to be uh, Big Lake Recreation Area. Everything south of the 249 is going to be dispersed camping. Now that being said, there are some places along here that are very nice little campsites. So let me hit the see. Uh, there we go. The satellite view for you. In our video where we camped it was right at this little nook here. I don't remember the number now. 249A, something like that. It's one of those 249 numbers. Unfortunately, on this map, they don't show you the number, but I believe this is this is the 68, and then it turns off here into a different number. But as you come down, there's the corral that you saw in the video. I showed the corral, and we were camped down this this area right here, kind of where that uh, camper is right there, this is where we were parked, and Billy and BJ were parked up in here, and there were other people parked up in this other area. The real nice area, if you can get it, is right here by the corral. If the weather is nice and cool, this is a good area. It's flat, level, and great solar. There's not a lot of shade though, so if it does get one of those times of year when it does get a little bit warm at Big Lake, you may want to head into the trees to get some shade. Alright, so there's uh, lots of hiking and stuff around here, fishing at the lake, uh, trout, different uh, places along here that are good to fish. You can fish at the South Lake or the South Cove. That's where I went down and fished. BJ and I went down there. Um, you can, uh, Some people tell me it's really good at the dam up here, the north end of the lake. There's a little road you can take and go fish at the dam. You can also rent a boat at the uh, store and take a boat out. Or if you bring your own boat, you can launch it at the store area. There's a boat launch area right here, as well as another boat launch area at South at the South Cove. There's also another area up here. I'm not sure if it has a boat line. Yes, it does. This is uh, called Railroad Cove up here. So there's actually three areas where you can launch a boat. And as far as the rules and regulations of boats, if you do want to take a boat, please check ahead of time for the rules and regulations on motors, uh, motorized boats. I think there's a limit to the horsepower that your boat can have. Electric's fine, but I, I want to say 10 horsepower or less. Uh, it may have been 8 to 10 horsepower. I know that some of the boats that they had for rental here at the store that you see in the picture, they do have little motors and stuff. Some of them are electric, some of them are just canoes. You can rent a little canoe and things like that. So that's a little bit of the lowdown for Big Lake. Uh, lots of fishing around the lake, places to camp along the roads here. There's also some nice camping down here on Three Forks. Uh, before you get to Three Forks around this 24 and go down Three Forks, there's a big area here. I think I'll show on a later video 
I took a little video of this area right here, which is a real nice dispersed area to camp. Um, and there's another little area off down here on Route or Forest Road 24. <clears throat> Sorry, pardon my throat there. <clears throat> and so there's lots of areas, but watch out during rainy season. It was very rainy when we were there in July. And at certain times of the year, it'll be dry. Certain times of the year, you of the year you will have lots of monsoon activity and right now it's lots of monsoon activity and if you get off in some of these areas back here it can be muddy and you could get stuck so just kind of keep that in mind and where you're camping if the ground is dry then you're sure to get by but if, it's, if the set ground is wet you're gonna get stuck because there's some muddy bogs down in there so just watch out for that and just as a side note, remember I was talking in the video about the fire. Now, I found out it's called the Wallow Fire. That was in 2011. For some reason, the name Conklin Ridge Fire stuck in my mind, too. Uh, I, it may have been that it had different names at the time. It had happened to be one of the largest fires in Arizona's history back in 2011. It burned, as you can see on Google Maps here, it burned a lot of... Uh, beautiful woods and forest areas got burned and you can still see the scars of some of that um, fire in 2011 this is the Conklin Ridge right in here and this whole area got hit really hard and it's recovering it's right now 10 12 years later it's recovering there's some beautiful areas of aspens that are growing um, there's some weird things that we saw when we went up to Big Lake Knoll on the back side of Big Lake Knoll, I want to say oh, Big Lake Knoll is kind of like right in here somewhere. On the back side of Big Lake Knoll, when you hike up the trail, there is a beautiful little patch of aspens and that were saved because of the knoll. They were saved from the wrath of the fire in 2011, and there are some huge, beautiful aspen trees. Stay tuned for another video I'll show you of the Indian Springs Trail that you can take to walk up to there. There's also a trail that goes around the lake or around the knoll and back up to the lake. It's a nice seven mile hike. So keep that in mind too if you're interested in hiking and stuff. So I hope you can get a chance to get up to Big Lake sometime. It's 9,000 feet, so watch the altitude. It can get to you. If you're not used to that high altitude, if you live in a place that's a low altitude and you go up to 9,000 feet, you will feel it. If you're used to altitude, if you live in Colorado and you're used to being up at high altitude somewhere you live, then it'll be nothing for you. It'll just be like being at home. And the beautiful area, Big Lake, Arizona, hope you can go see it. This is Dave saying have a great day, have a great week, catch you later, bye.